So I'm gonna show y'all what I figured out with the Sony A7S. I know a lot of people have been trying to figure out how to import the X ABCS file in the Final Cut Pro without a without a video converter. Because I know sometimes when you connect it to Final Cut Pro, the video format file doesn't show up on the computer to let you import it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to how to figure that out today and how to do that. So as you can see, my A7S is in format file X ABCS. So check this out. All right, so once you connect the USB port, the USB cord on the side of the A7S, this is what pops up. USB mode connecting. So when you go on your computer and you double click the camera icon to try to bring that up, you'll see uh, this private file right here. So if you double click that, nothing happens. Your computer won't open it up. QuickTime Pro won't open it up. And definitely uh, Final Cut Pro won't open it up. So check this out. So if you just try to click and drag, nothing happens. Still can't import, you get a, this error message right here. No importable file. But this is the file that I'm trying to import and this is what I recorded. So I'm going to show y'all uh, how to change the camera settings and get that imported today. So check this out. So this is the file that I'm trying to import right here. So as you can see. 24 frames per second and the file format is definitely uh, XAVCS. So what you want to do is you hit the menu button, you go all the way to the last menu on the right and you go to category number four. You see USB settings, by default it's on auto. So you, you, you don't want it to be on auto, you want to change that from auto to MTP. So next thing you want to do, you want to take that same USB cord and put it back on the side of the camera you're gonna get this message hit OK so now it changed to USB mode MTP so once you go back to the Final Cut Pro you hit OK you find the camera and it should now look like this right here on the side click that and this is the file right here that it wasn't it uh, couldn't open the first time so you hit MP4 and uh, import selected hit import get rid of this and it takes a few minutes for the file to actually import because it's a big file so just give it a few moments 